Now to a new call today for an independent review of that incident leading to the tasing and arresting of Minor High School's band director Johnny Mims. Birmingham police releasing that body camera video last night and for the first time we're hearing now from a woman who witnessed what happened. It happened well after Thursday night's football game against Jackson Olin in what's called the fifth quarter, an event where opposing bands play for each other. It's common at some HBCUs and some high schools. Now we want to warn you, part Part of this video may be hard to watch for some people. First, let's start with the part of the video where police ask Mims to get his band to stop playing. Well, the video shows Mims signaling his band to continue playing. An officer also telling Mims he's going to jail. And Mims responds with a thumbs up and says, cool. The altercation then goes out of the stands, which the body cam video initially does not show. It is very chaotic and you can hear band members screaming as officers try to get Mims into custody. They accuse Mims of trying to hit one of the officers. He swung on the officer. I did not swing on the officer, man. Y'all grab me low. I got the call. I didn't swing on the officer. 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 I didn't cleared the band out of the stadium. Mm -hmm. Mims is facing disorderly conduct, harassment, and resisting arrest. Tristan Rupert joins us now. He talked to Mims attorney and a witness about what was a very chaotic scene. That's right, Jonathan. Attorney Wanda Gavan says the video shows BPD was excessive and she argues they should not have been the ones to try and clear out the stadium in the first place. Now that's what she says. Birmingham police, of course, say that they needed him to follow their instructions and that he laid hands on them. And when you do that to an officer, that's what ends up to an arrest. You also got though a different version of events from a woman who was not connected to either party, but in the stadium. That's right, Jonathan. Different point of view. I spoke with Kiara Duke. She's actually supporting family that was on the color guard and dance team. She witnessed some of the chaos. I spoke with her just a few hours ago to get her point of view. When the officer first came over there, he was he he was hostile. He he came over there. Y'all need to get the F out. Y'all need to get we don't do fifth quarter around this M effort. Like this is the very first encounter you you have with the band directors and everything. And that's what you say? She says that when officers returned, things got worse. Minutes later, the lights were turned off. Officers asked Mims to stop the band from playing and an officer said he refused. Things escalated and they say he pushed the arresting officer. He hit the officer, he gotta go to jail. He swung on the officer. I did not swing on the officer, man. Mims was then tased multiple times. It was traumatizing for um, our students. Dukes alleges officers then pulled out mace to encourage the crowd to leave quicker. We have not confirmed mace was even used. There was no threat as far as the kids. There was no threat. So why are we pulling out mace? Why are we shutting the lights off? Everybody is scared. Dukes also says some of the frustration on the minor sideline was based on the fact that they felt targeted by law enforcement. Jackson Olin didn't stop playing. Mims was arrested and walking out of the stadium and J.O.'s band was still in the stands playing. Jonathan, I reached out to Birmingham City Schools earlier today for comment. They tell me as a safety precaution, fifth quarter performances are not allowed. And this may be one of the cases that a newly formed civilian led public safety advisory committee may be reviewing. Mayor Woodford today announcing that that board will start. It adds he believes transparency to police operations, creates accountability, and will allow them to review community complaints. The board includes local activists and ministers, as well as former Governor Don Siegelman. You'll have your first chance to hear from that board September the 21st. More information on what that board could be doing, the composition of it, you can look for yourself in the WBRC News app.